Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Josh. And Babe. And Babe. So today, we are going to be preparing an entire whole roasted chicken in our brand new Ninja Foodie. Thanks to CJ. First, we have to give a big, huge shout out. Fellow YouTube cooking creator, really good friend of ours, CJ, Mrs. CJ, thank you so much for the Ninja Foodie. You guys, go check out their channel, Cooking with CJ. Awesome, awesome recipe. He is the Ninja Foodie master. So if you guys are new here, we upload a new video every Tuesday and Thursday with a live stream on the weekends, usually Saturday. We have a little fun, a cooking couple. Easy, barbecue, home recipes, air fryer, now a Ninja Foodie. We just got a sous vide also. Lots of fun stuff coming for the channel, so we really appreciate you guys' support. So without further ado, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. And here we go! This is our first time using the Ninja Foodie, other than the chicken nuggets we made for the kids in the air fryer part last night. These are the ingredients. We have thyme, the juice of two lemons, uh, salt, pepper, it's gonna be ground pepper and peppercorns, honey, five cloves of garlic, and I'm gonna add my own twist with a little bit of butter and some sweet Smoky Joe faux yo chicken. The great part about a Ninja Foodie is it comes with, it's a pressure cooker, or as the new thing, an Instapot, and an air fryer, all in one. This part, this is a $200 machine, this one's a six quart, so it gives you the opportunity to do both, or one or the other. Um, on here you can see you have your air crisp, which is your air fryer. You have your pressure cooker. You can bake, broil, that's going to give you all your crispies. You can slow cook, steam for your veggies, sear, saute. This thing is amazing. We're going to start with the pressure cooker. So this is the bowl, the base that will go into it. I'm going to put on the bottom my water, my honey, black peppercorns, some salt, two lemons, some garlic, and some thyme. So all of these flavors combined is gonna give you an aromatic scent or flavor pressure cooked into the chicken. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go about a quarter cup of honey. Juice of two lemons. One cup of warm water. Some fresh thyme. This is about a half a tablespoon of black peppercorns. Half a tablespoon of salt. Mix it all together. So we have our aromatics mixed up in here on the bottom part of the pressure cooker. We're going to put our chicken into the air fryer. You're supposed to put the legs down and shove her in there. So it looks like that. Fits nice and snug. Okay, I'm just going to give a little cut right here because you don't want to do too much and I just want to I just want to shove some butter in there under the skin, but you have to be careful because you don't want to like, you don't want to rip the skin and ruin it. But I feel like that will give you a little more. I'm just ripping it and shoving it in there. So I threw a little bit of thyme on there and some butter and we're going to put it in our pressure cooker now. So this is the pressure cooker lid. It's really easy to snap on. I didn't, it didn't take me five tries. Okay, so do that. We turn it to seal. So we want it sealed. Power button. We're going with the pressure. We're setting our time for 22 minutes. And we're gonna hit start. Here we go. Okay, babe, it's been 22 minutes in the pressure cooker. It is time to release the pressure and I'm very nervous. Am I gonna die right now? I just wanna know. You have to be ready to ah! <laughs> I'm scared. Why is it doing that? There you 
go. Until that steam comes out, it's not <laughs> That's it. Okay. This chicken looks pretty sad. Um, but that's just because it was basically, it's not boiled, but it looks like it was boiled. So now we're going to turn on the air fryer to give it that brown, crispy skin. Sweet Smoky Joe on. The faux yolk chicken one. We're going to set it with some olive oil and that's what's going to give it that nice crispy texture. for the air fryer. I'm just using a spray olive oil. I put the seasoning first because I wanted the olive oil to kind of blend it all in. See how it's melting it down over everything? A little bit of pepper. Not too much because the kids don't like pepper. I think we're ready to go. We're gonna turn our power back on. We're gonna go to Air Chris 400. Oops, temp 400. We're gonna do it for, we're gonna start at eight minutes, nine minutes. You guys, here's the finished product inside of the Ninja Foodie. I'm gonna pull it out here in a second. Josh had to go, so I'm by myself. Let's see if I can pull this off. So we got it done. Josh had to leave. I'm going to attempt to cut this baby up. Let's see what we have here. It's really juicy. Oh, that's a little wing. Let's check the breast. See? You can hear the, the crisp. I love getting the rotisserie chickens at Albertsons or Costco. Oh, it's cooked perfect. We take these and we make um, chicken enchiladas out of them. Okay. Okay. That is really good. That's really good, you guys. I don't know how to cut this thing. I usually shred them, but what I do know is that every part of it is cooked to perfection. It's moist. It's flavorful. It's fantastic. So, thanks you guys. I hope this helps. We're super excited to have a Ninja Foodie. If you're looking to get one, I suggest you do it. Because not only do we love our air fryer, but the fear of a pressure cooker is taken out with this. I don't feel like it's going to blow up in my face. And that's a good thing. Thanks, guys. Great! <laughs> I, I would eat this forever because, I, look it, I ate this bone. <laughs> bone. <laughs> Delicious. Can I have more?